Question number 156. Which of the following waves in ECG represents the initiation of ventricular depolarization? And the options given are P wave, S wave, T wave and Q wave. And we know that QRS complex represents depolarization of ventricles which initiates ventricular depolarization. The contraction of ventricles starts shortly after Q wave and marks the beginning or initiation of systole. So the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Q wave in ECG represents the initiation of ventricular depolarization. Let's discuss rest of the options. The very first option P wave cannot be a correct answer because P waves represent atrial depolarization. Whereas the third option T wave is an incorrect option because T wave represents the return of ventricles from excited to normal state. And the second option S wave is an incorrect option. So the correct answer to this question is option number 4. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 157. Choose the correct statement with respect to arteries. And the very first statement given is arteries supply blood to heart from different parts of the body and this is an incorrect statement so cannot be a correct answer to our question because arteries supply blood from heart to different parts of the body. The next statement given is tunica media is thinner than in veins and this is an incorrect statement because tunica media is thicker than in veins having more muscle fibers. The next statement given is arteries are not collapsible as they have thick walls and as it is a correct statement so this is a correct answer to our question because arteries are collapsible and they have thick walls and they are muscular. The last statement given is flow of blood is slow due to narrower lumen and this is an incorrect statement because blood flows under higher pressure in arteries. So the correct answer to this question is option number Three. Now let's discuss our next question. Question number 158. Isovolumetric diastole represents which cardiac event? And the very first option given is duration between closure of AV valves and opening of semilunar valves. Second option is duration between closure of semilunar valves and opening of AV valves. Third option given is duration between opening of Thebaisian valve and opening of AV valves. And the last option given is duration between opening of AV valves and opening of semilunar valves. Now, isovolumetric diastole represents duration between closure of semilunar valves and opening of AV valves. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 2. The very first option, duration between closure of AV valves and opening of semilunar valves represents isovolumetric systole. So this is an incorrect option whereas option number 3 and option number 4 duration between opening of Thebaisian valve and opening of AV valves is an incorrect option and the last option duration between opening of AV valves and opening of semilunar valves is also an incorrect option. Isovolumetric contraction is an event occurring in early systole during which no corresponding volume change is seen with ventricular contraction. And this takes place while all heart valves are closed. So this means during isovolumetric systole, all heart valves are closed. So the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 159. A spatial system of blood vessels exclusively for the circulation of blood to and from the cardiac musculature constitutes and the options given are pulmonary circulation, systemic circulation, coronary system and portal system. And we know that the spatial system of blood vessels exclusively for the circulation of blood to and from the cardiac musculature constitutes option number three coronary system. From the ascending aorta, right and left coronary arteries arise which supply oxygenated blood to the heart muscles. 
Now let's discuss rest of the options. The very first option given is pulmonary circulation and this is an incorrect option. Pulmonary refers to lungs. Next option is systemic circulation and this is an incorrect option because systemic circulation provides oxygen, nutrients and other essential substances to the body tissues. And the last option given is portal system and this is an incorrect option when a capillary bed pools into another capillary bed with respect of first going through the heart, this constitutes portal system. So the correct answer to this question is option number 3. Let's discuss our next question. Question number 160. Which among the following set of WBCs is phagocytic in nature? And the options given are monocytes and basophils, neutrophils and monocytes, lymphocytes and eosinophils, basophils and eosinophils. And the correct answer to this question is option number 2, neutrophils and monocytes. Because these neutrophils and monocytes, these WBCs are phagocytic in nature. Let's discuss rest of the options. The very first option given is monocytes and basophils and this is an incorrect option because basophils eosinophils and lymphocytes are non- phagocytic cells. So the third option lymphocytes and eosinophils is an incorrect option and the last option basophils and eosinophils is also an incorrect option and the correct answer to this question is option number 2. Let's discuss our next question. 